Welcome back to Beyond Good and Evil. So, time to do some side stuff, uh, you know, while we wait for the next, while we have to find a way to the next dungeon. What's this game? Alpha with these... section. Oh. Basically, this? another one of those mini side the dungeon where we can get some extra pairs and find some other animals. Mm -hmm. You were asking, Jova? Was this game ever released on the PS2? Yes, Jova. The original game was released on GameCube, PS2, and Xbox. Ah, I thought so. PC. God, the so modern, the, the Ubisoft Shanghai remaster on PS3, Xbox uh, 360, and Steam. So oh, aside, geez. so aside from the wider aspect ratio, since now you know you're playing in HD, were there any really um, substantial changes made for the HD port? No, not not much. Like I said, the the, the frame. I don't know how the frame rate was. In the original version, but here it's a stable 60 FPS. So there you go. These are some of the drones that, uh, as you've seen, are uh, were on the hollow disc of the outer sections. Basically, you you had to move them using double H uh, hammer attack, which you can use them as projectiles after that. Anyway, here we have. Uh, there we go. Basically, these uh, the mecha impulsor functions like hard containers, but for your um, by your hovercraft, so basically giving it more health. So, so uh, get, get them as yeah. much as you can, anyway. So, think we'll see more Beyond Good and Evil two at E three this year. I don't know. We're like, again, audience for reference. We're commenting on this uh, right before it. On and honestly, consider we're not too far from the end. Uh, um, just I think. Five parts wait, 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 from wait, now. Wait, wait, wait. We're almost done with this game already. Relatively, relatively speaking, Jova, mind you, it's the like parts. For, it's 14 parts, Jova. In total. But like I said, it's not a long game, unfortunately. But uh, at the same time, short. very still. That's because I basically trimmed the fat, uh, like, say, uh, cutting some of the loading screens uh, and uh, cutting parts where I may have lost myself, uh, stuff like that. Uh, but. Um, but the same part anyway, if the consider not much, we probably may finish it right before E3 starts. So if something new gets announced by then, I guess I can add a small sections where we uh, say what we think. But we'll, we'll see, all in good time anyway. I'm, I'm, I'm I guess I'm also this game look, at, is... look at that, a white, I'm a white mouse, albino one. Lovely. Aside from announcing, uh, as announcing, aside from showing Beyond Green Evil 2, I'm really hoping uh, Ubisoft finally uh, shows off. Um, I mean, since Sony doesn't have a conference uh, in 2019, maybe maybe Michelle can show off Wild in, at the Ubisoft conference, maybe? I don't see, I don't uh, well, see Wild's, happening, honestly. Wild's not an Ubisoft it's, project, though. It's a, it's a full-on Sony IP anyway, so... I guess, sure. The, the, uh, what can happen is potentially surfacing in on a Sony state of play eventually Probably. during the year. Well, yeah, well, well, remember, like I said before, Céline Tellier, aka the other co founder of Wild, Wild Sheep Studios, which is uh, Michelle Ansel's studio, did say recently back in April 29, aka a month before we, re we recorded this audience, basically, so it's recently from where we're standing. Uh, that uh, the game is still coming and it's still a second party game for the P for the PS4. So yeah, it's still coming. And Sony recently said also that they're supporting the PS4 at least for three years uh, after the eventual release of the new generation console. Well, it so... makes sense to, considering the PS5 is going to be backwards compatible, it only makes sense to make sure to keep the servers going so people can still uh, get all that stuff for using on the PS5. Same thing for the PS3, if those rumors of backwards compatibility are... Wait, 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 wait. Which I hope they are. Wait, huh? There's rumors that it'll be even backwards compatible with the PS3? There, there's... There, remember, Joe, some of the leaked patents say that there's going to, uh, that the PS5 is going to emulate the pre uh, the previous generations of PlayStation PA emulation. Oh, I get that, that I get that, I get that. Well, I, mean, like, well, I heard that it said that it would be backwards compatible with PS4, PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2, but I never heard about PlayStation 3. 
Well, it's like, like that's like, like, like I said, it's a rumor. Uh, yeah, besides, I, I can imagine doing that for the PS3 being a pain in the ass. Not to mention, 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 a lot of PS3 games already have their servers for the multiplayer component already shut down for one reason or the other. So I don't really see the you know, potential in that. PS3 is in a bit of a similar shape with the Wii U, in that a lot of its games have either been ported That's one of the reasons they made so many downloads. remasters as well. Yeah. I mean, hey, maybe. Who <coughs> wants to see a PS5 Dark Wii? All we're missing now is a proper re-release of Metal Gear Solid 4, dang it. That's up to Konami, sadly. Yeah. yeah um, um, there we go. Yes, I, you know, you I, I was I was gonna make I was gonna I was gonna say something, but everyone already said it. So. The obvious course of action, Jova, would be for, to get Blue Point Studios to do a proper remaster of this since they already have experience. But unfortunately, but that would require Konami to make a good decision, which you know the implications of that. Well, we got Simon and Smash, but I see your points still. Not to mention the different uh, the different uh, arcade and classic collections right now. So Although... I don't really see. Although, to be fair, those are simply re-released. Actually, yeah, that's to, a good not, point. Not to mention, uh, um, we still don't know what's the next game that Blue Point is making. For all we know, they could be doing potentially something and they just say, you know, because they are working on something else. Uh, yeah, haven't right Blue Point been really hyping up their new game? We haven't There's, said anything it's, it's, right it's, now. It's, it's a, the only thing we know is that it's a remake of another classic game. We still don't know what it is. Oh, though. so it's definitely a remake. Anyway, the, what the, we the need to get right said, now sorry. is a jump kit. Oh. This, believe it or not, makes your overcraft jump. But I'm, I'm not even kidding. You will see, basically, its practical use is that we need it for races, but to also bypass some of those, uh, you know, pesky alpha section laser traps. Ha! You've been defeated by the power of the high enough, I guess. Continue, Pedro, in the meantime. You'll see more impractical effect later. Ooh, my pods! The only thing they've told us, the blue point has told us, Job, is that it's some, it's a project bigger in scale than their Shadow of the Colossus remake. Which also explains why it's taking longer. Have they mentioned anything. what company they're doing it for? No. We don't know no. what it is, I'm no. guessing? I'm, no. They're keeping, they're keeping it secretive. I'm pretty sure it's at the, at the, the request of the publisher, of whoever owns the IP. Better than just being very, 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 very secretive. So that's the victory. We the, have the, no the, idea the, which the, company it would be for. The primary fear, the, the primary two, uh, the primary uh, two theories are either uh, Demon Souls um, re-release, because remember Demon Souls is a Sony IP, and Sony always goes for Blue Point for re-releases, uh, and uh, a Metal Gear Solid One remake. Those hmm. are the primary two theories. Watch it be neither of those. Well, we'll have to wait. <laughs> That's why I said theories. I know, I know, I know. It's but just hey, like, well, it's always funny when it's always funny when you see like the two big theories going on, and then neither of them come true because it turns out it's something completely. That's the unexpected. problem with today's leaks, Jova. I honestly think at this point none should be trusted in general. Well, remember, it's mostly anyway. Because... Very good. That's how you can jump like that. Wee! But the uh, oops. Uh, oh. go, go on, Jova. We're saying it's, it's being it. shot at. I was saying. Uh, it's mostly Jova because of the uh, because of the fact that Jordan Vogel Roberts is making a Metal Gear Solid movie. That too, oh, yeah, so... that's right. Here's hoping that'll turn out good. Well, you, I'm, just, what, what... I'm, just, I'm just hoping the guy doesn't trip over that beat. Well, nice. Koji, well, 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 Kojima himself has given him his blessing since he's a big friend of his. And uh, Jordan has demonstrated to be a big fan of the franchise in general, so I'm open-minded to it. I'm just saying, Paul W. Anderson started off as a fan, and while the first Resident Evil movie was yeah, but good. Here's big, uh, well, but here's a big difference. Uh, right, Joe, anyway, did that guy get a blessing from the creator of Resident Evil? Yeah, he did. Oh, Jimmy Kami, oh, yeah. Never oh, mind, never mind that. Behind the panel, a code. But unfortunately, we don't really have a big or now, but there's something under Paige's boots. Jet boots. Uh, oh yeah, we can use those now. So I guess. if we input these two codes, L7, C8, and F4, G7, double jump. <laughs> no, no, no. Actually, these are not cheats. Uh, um, I don't even think there are cheats in this game. Not Surprise! Very this need. game seems like it would be optimal for them with this code system thing. Oh, but for all I know, 
For all, by, for, all I know, for all I know, maybe there are, and I just don't know about them. Who knows? If, if this was a Nintendo 64 game, they'd have a big heads uh, cheat where everybody had the big head, like in, uh, making the characters look cheap. <laughs> oh, so is that where the whole big head trend but, for So there we go. We illuminated yeah. one light, but we need to illuminate also the other. So we need to find the other terminal that uh, to input the other code, but go on. Rareware in particular, Jove, uh, uh, was very uh, proud of using that in both GoldenEye and N64 and Perfect Dark, the original, I mean. Mm -hmm. Insomniac also allowed to use that Ratchet & Clank code, but in that case, instead of using properly cheat most of the time, it was you spending some of the skill points that you acquired uh, through the yeah, game. Yeah, that reminds me. Pedro, have we gotten any leaks about Microsoft C3? Remember last year when we got that leak thing that was pretty much uh, dead we have, spot we on? Do have, we do have <laughs> something. Um, there are a bunch of titles Jova that still don't have a release date, so they're probably going to be brought up again, like Halo Infinite, uh, Gears there, 5, and Battletoads. So. There, there, there is one Jova, but discussing it here would probably make this part horribly dated really quick. So yeah, we'll, we'll yeah. There this you go. Here, here's the other, um, here's the other uh, panel to input the code. Uh, keep in mind, I don't really need to do this right now because of what I'm about to do is stuff that's tied more to the end of the game. Uh, and mind you, I can't really sequence break, but uh, it really functions more like as a teaser because it's time to see what Page has told us in his holo disc, uh, the one that he gave personally to Jade. I'm looking at game facts. From what I can see here, there are no cheats for this game, only unlockables. From what I'm seeing here, it only says animal M disc by um, taking a picture of every animal and a marble mini game by collecting 88 pearls. Do yeah. You 88, do you collect 88 pearls? Too? No, I don't go for 100. But I, mean, I think the only one that I miss is the one title that uh, uh, um, Air Hockey mini game. Anyway, by um, inputting the two code and pressing the button, there, you, there you go. The Beluga, the the spaceship on which Paige came here with Jade and the Jade's father. And we can use that to chase after them. Page. We could, uh, but right now we don't have everything that we need, unfortunately. Whoops. I'm sure he was just. Well, but, at least uh, it was a nice dramatic oh, reveal. But also, oh, uh, uh, all right, yeah, the animal. But uh, there's a hollow disk that can tell us what we need. Uh, basically, a checkup of the page that did and what we may need uh, about it. Uh, please, double H. Thank you. There you go. Right now you cannot even enter like that, but... Uh, there seems to be two things that we need to input there. Basically two uh, gyro stabilizers, I think. Mm. You know... So, oh, I'm sorry, go on. No, no, no. Basically what we need is to check up that uh, holodisc and to see precisely what page says we need uh, to complete the Voluga. So, oh, nice. if, hold on. There you go. The only thing I can tell you, Jova, is that. Uh, hold on. Yeah. Overhaul. So we need uh, we need two flight stable. We need one st flight stabilizer we already have, but one needs to be uh, bought from Mamago Garage. And unfortunately, we don't really have it at uh, right now. And also, uh, there's also the fact that we need a stellar motor if we want to go in space. But right now, we don't really need it anyway. Um, so basically, right now, the priority would be to get the stabilizer. But right now, Mamago Garage doesn't really have, doesn't even have it. So even if you have the amount of pearl necessary, we just simply tell you we don't have. But don't worry, we're going to have it soon enough so we can buy it and repair the Buruka properly. Anyway, go on, Jova. Well, you know, I was the one. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, I was saying something, but if you want go to. Ah, go ahead and finish. I was about to say, you know, the art evolution between this and Beyond Good and Evil 2 is going to be so weird. Like, okay, you see, most game series, you have, like, multiple games that go from, like, the older ones to the newer ones. Like, Resident Evil, you know, you got the gradual shift from weird, blocky, but cartoony looking to more realistic. Whereas this. First one's gonna be cartoony looking, second one's gonna be more realistic looking. Guess that's what happens know, when, I you know, know, you've only got 
two games in the series. That way, honestly. Uh, honestly, honestly I, don't, I don't know. This was still sound like freaking pizza. Hi, can I, I have know. the Mega Protera, please? Well, it is true <laughs> that this particular game doesn't have a completely realistic art style. I wouldn't call it cartoony either. I would, I would, I would think it's more like a middle ground. And honestly, mm -hmm. from what I've seen of the... And honestly, from what I've seen of the, the Beyond Good and Evil reveal, sorry, the sequels reveal trailer, uh, I mean, Paige looks pretty much exactly like he should look on a PS4 game, so I'd say it looks just fine and captures the look of the character fine. I agree. Uh, honestly, it's a mix between... Uh, I'm talking more so... Oh, no, 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 no. I think it looks fine. What I'm saying is like, well, the transition between them is so... Weird. I mean, I well, guess it's, I mean, it's been weird. over a decade, right? Well, exactly. Exactly. So, My so point. Jova, Jova, <laughs> as a person who played Kingdom Hearts 3, Jova, do you really find that strange? Well, again, Kingdom Hearts is a game's galore and constant remasters of the ones. Mm, sorry, Jova, it's still, they still use basically the PS2 model, just upscale them very slightly. Uh, yeah, so. well, Jova, mean, Jova means the jump from the from the Kingdom Hearts 2 engine to the Kingdom Hearts yeah. 3 Unreal. Uh, exactly. Right. I'm that's, strictly. That's, that's I'm strictly talking about the jump. I'm not saying that, well, that it looks bad or even wonky. I'm just saying the transition between them is so weird. Whereas with Kingdom Hearts, that transition felt a lot more... Well, you know, that felt more gradual since we constantly had games up the wazoo up to that point. Whereas with but the other still, but that's there. the thing, Joe, that we were still using that engine just on uh, different, uh, different hardware. Because between the PSP and the 3DS, uh, there wasn't yeah. really an upscale of that. Uh, Honestly, I would argue that uh, Tatsuya Kondo, for those who don't know, Tatsuya Kondo was an animator in Final Fantasy IX, he's the animation director of the Kingdom Hearts series, and he was the director of the Williams of Few. Uh, I would argue that Tatsuya Kondo's uh, art direction for the Kingdom Hearts series is so solid, and the games always look really appealing to the eye that I don't think it really matters in the end. No, no, but I will just know this interior of early maybe. Okay, like, why do these looters always use... the, compa the comparison with this game seems more fitting because it, it, it's a passage just keeping one generation of console oh, and no, it's I using argue... the Unreal 4. So... Honestly, I, I would argue that Kingdom Hearts 3 looks uh, gorgeous. Like, uh, it, it really brings back that that old square tradition of trying to get the best possible graphics out of a console like they used to, like it used to be their tradition back in the day. Um, because well, 15, mm -hmm. the, 15, for a good reason, mind you, 15 decided to sacrifice the whole, oh, we gotta get the best graphics possible thing for the sake of prioritizing the gameplay, which was a good decision on Tabata's part, obviously. But, um, uh, but for Kingdom Hearts 3, since it's a more, a more simple linear game, they were able to get that, uh, thing rolling again. But, uh, go ahead. Um, no, no, I will, I will, I will straight to framing, uh, hold on. Nino was able to download the old plans of the slaughterhouses. Apparently, the third race track of the championship. Hmm, we need to actually enter a race and find the secret the passage there. Hmm. <coughs> How interesting. Seems to be large enough for the hovercraft. Yeah. All right, but we're not going to do that immediately. Probably in the next part, I think. In the. Yeah, 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 go on, Waves. I'm just get, trying to get a photo of the yeah, whale so, in the meantime. So far, the. So far, the story's fine. It's just well. It feels way too short and confined for yeah, itself. Yeah, yeah. It's like um, it's, and also, I mean, and also, um, yeah. I don't mind them doing stuff that's not exactly new. Um, it's just well, it's not really all that interesting. Let me put it right there. Think... This whole story feels Sorry. like the first act of a free act structure. Like I well, said, remember, this was meant to be a trilogy, like Taylor said. No, 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 not no, no, to no, mention, no, no. Well, I mean, not like, to... Well, it feels like, it's like, well, it feels like the first act of like the story of just one game in particular. Not to mention, like he said, uh, uh, several rewrites, <laughs> a small <laughs> budget, and way too ambitious project uh, for its time. Definitely. Which is a shame. It's a combination of factors that ultimately made the game in the state that it is right now. Yeah, yeah, I mean, that's we don't. That's well, the really... the one that bought this game. Me... No, I already told the reason why no one bought this game, but feel free to believe what you want. Let me put it like this. This this game in its entirety feels like you the first third of Star Wars right. Episode Four, in the sense that it's pretty much all to the point of Luke just getting off of Tatooine. Which, you know, that's fine now, except... It's Tatooine, you... Go, go ahead. <laughs> Tatooine. I just said Tatooine. 
whatever. Move anyway, on. my point being is like, well, I gotta make. Well, that's what this feels like as a story maker. I mean, I mean, if we're this close to the end already, it no, does not feel really. A bit we're. Rough. I'm just made it well close to the final part of Jova, but uh, that doesn't mean that everything that I show in the other parts is just the side stuff. But it's just well. the way I phase things out. I, you will be able to decide. Uh, and remember, Jova, the ending is one hour long anyway, so... Oh, I get that, I get that. Uh, what I'm saying, though, is like, well, it does feel like, well, pacing-wise, it does feel a bit iffy. I'm not saying well, that it's an open-world game. For the PS2, so back then, you couldn't do that much for an open-world stuff. But... Mm, you could get better pacing, but that's not my major okay, issue. Okay, please present an example. Well, for instance, you had Grand Theft Auto on the PS2. That one had... Better pacing, but then again, I know. Well, also, a better budget because Rockstar was a bigger company. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay, okay, a okay, sandbox game, not an open world game. Okay, okay, okay. It's different. Let me just say this though. I acknowledge that, yes, this game did have the budget issue, which didn't allow it to be the best. Oh, by the way, also Just Cause. The first Just Cause, anyway. I don't know how Eidos was treating its IPs uh, before the merging with Enix. Uh, sorry, Enix okay. was treating it before with the merge with Square, so I don't know if they had the respect not they needed. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, 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 look. Wait, uh, can you know the input? Uh? Um, well, um, well, I, I don't seem to have been... Well, okay, other than the, other than the, other than the major Tomb Raider screw up of 2003, um, it, they seem to have Treated, they treated their IP uh, relatively um, okay. I would but, but, argue, but then again, but then again, that there was a reason why they just gave up and got bought by Square Enix. Okay, before getting uh, booted out again. Anyway, before... my, anyway, remember when I when I critiqued the story. I'm, you know, I mean, sure, I acknowledge that there were budget issues here and there. I'm not even saying that the story is bad because of it. What I am saying, though, is like, well, it does feel a bit off with, a bit with the pace. And granted, we haven't gotten to the end, so maybe my thoughts will change. I'm just going off of my thoughts of how I feel about the story so far. Sure, sure, sure. And that's not to say that, you know, I haven't enjoyed the world of the characters. No, 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 I like them that well. It's just, I feel like I haven't gotten to know some of them that well before they come and go. I would argue... That uh, okay, I would argue that the story itself is fine. Uh, I like the themes that they're that they're using so far. Uh, but I'll tell you a question: Like, mm. are there is there anything story substantial in the side quests that or something? No, like, no, are... not, not really. It's they're just basically there for you to get in more. Per but mind you, it's not like they're mindless. You have four sure, looters. Sure. You have four looters cavern. Uh, three types of races uh, that you can get through. Uh, the mini games that I showed you, and some minor stuff that you can do, like hacking a code, having to go through a mini dungeon. They're not uh, mandatory. They're not mandatory in terms of story for understanding what's going on. But if you want to, if you want to get uh, the the most <laughs> that you can get, uh, it's best if you try to do them at the very least. Okay, I do like. Uh, so, are you doing them in this playthrough? Yes. Correctly? Yes. Okay. Uh, like I okay. said, the only thing that I majorly skip is that uh, air hockey. Uh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Well, see, for me, it's like the story to me is just perfectly fine, and I do like the dialogue. Like, I really like the interactions between Paige uh, and uh, the main protagonist. Um, I, I, I think, I think the only thing that I agree with when it comes to jo what Jova was saying is that I think the the story could have used some more quiet, slow character moments in the sense that, like, for me, like I, I mentioned this in the mm -hmm. in the first part of this playthrough. Don't worry, I'll be quick. Uh, remember when I said in the first part that the intro was a bit too quick, straight to the action, I thought? I think it probably would have helped a bit if we had some <laughs> sort of, uh, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying I want, if, despite me being a big fan of long prologues, you know, um, I think, uh, okay, let me put it in the way that you'll understand here. I think, uh, a Tales of Grace's style prologue, not as long as that one, mind you. But uh, something that starts off a bit more character-driven, so we can get slowly introduced to the characters. We get some moments where we see them interact for quite a bit in cutscenes, and then suddenly the aliens or whatever they are come in and wreck shit up. You know, I think the thing I think uh, it could have helped the story better if we didn't just immediately jump straight into the action without any major character interactions. I think that's probably was, wasn't that what Battle of Los Angeles did. Well, I don't like Battle of Los Angeles. Whips, Personally, so. I feel... Um, no, I was just saying, yeah, it wasn't that one of Battle of Los Angeles' big problems. It just jumped into alien stuff. 
Personally, I feel that the game opened up just fine. Again, my main point is like, I feel like, well, the story feels a little too contained within itself in the sense that it feels like it's a little too short in that well, sense. We can, uh, I'll probably be able to explain better as we get closer again, though. Otherwise, I'm enjoying this. The only uh, thing I can, the only thing I want to add is that I think, again, to conclude, I think more slow, character-driven scenes could have helped it. I think, like, I don't <laughs> think we're spending, like Jova said, I don't think we're spending enough time watching the characters interact. Yes, yes, we're doing it. We got various type where Paige and uh, the protagonist were together, but uh, I think for the kind of story they want to tell, they should have had a, more cutscenes. I think, I think again, this is of course a budget problem. That's why we don't have as many cutscenes as we probably need it. But I think that's the the thing there. This kind of narrative needs more slow, character-driven scenes to further hone and flesh out the characters. Like, uh, I, I think this is one of those cases where the narrative had to be stripped down probably because of the budget and, and the limitations and shit. That's probably what happened. I get the feeling Michelle wanted more here. I, I really get the feeling that this game is not really up to his original vision. I don't th It doesn't feel like it. I, I, right. I can definitely uh, see what Michelle was going for. Yeah, but, I'm, I'm going to do this. Uh, in the next part, uh, we do some races and uh, manage to find the entrance of the slaughterhouse. See ya. All right. See ya. Mm -hmm. see ya.